We are gonna get a new Gerard card, Gerard Wedelite Hero. Just remember who is the real boss of the Wedelite and who Gerard is actually working for. This is a remake, a new version of Gerard. The old and original Gerard was a mono white human soldier that gained a lot of life and could tap creatures when he attacked. This Gerard, this Boros Gerard, is a egg Gerard or an eggs commander on form of a resurrect or rescue card. For red and white, two generic, human soldier, first strike, free, free. When Gerard Velilite Hero dies, exile it and return to the battlefield all artifact and creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Let's take a look at Child of Alara. That has a similar text. When Child of Alara is put into a graveyard from play, that is a die text, the old die text, destroy all non-land permanents, they can't be regenerated. Now, the problem with Child of Alara is that when Child of Alara dies, you get an effect to destroy everything. But to make that effect happen, you have to put Child of Alara into your graveyard, you have to let it stay there. If you take Child of Alara to your command zone, you don't get the die effect, because moving a commander to the command zone is a replacement effect to the die effect. Wizard of the Coast has worked around this and printed this thing. So when Garada dies, you can put him into your graveyard, but then he is exiled. So the, there's a replacement effect on the exiled, but you get the die effect. So you get the die effect trigger and you get your Boros commander Gerard back to your command zone. And you can sit there and, and kind of loop it. But looping this Boros X commander infinitely on the same turn and comboing off is gonna be close to impossible because of the commander tax. Each time he goes back to the command zone, his cost increased by two. So you can't really go infinite because the mana you need to gain infinite mana is just gonna sit there and increase. But it is actually possible to make an egg combo out of this commander. Trust me, it is. It's just demanding a lot of combo pieces. Let's look on how many combo pieces this is going to require. So we have this new Scarecrow that is also going to see print. It's a four mana artifact creature. Whenever this Scarecrow becomes tapped, you get two options. And it's the second option that we like. Return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. You can return command beacon. Sacrifice Command Beacon. Put your commander into your hand from the command zone. So the Command Beacon will enter tapped. We can fix this with Amulet of Vigor that would make it untap when it comes into play. Then we need to tap the Scarecrow somehow. We can fix this with this vehicle. So you tap the Scarecrow and some other creatures to crew the vehicle into a creature that you can also sacrifice. So it's gonna come back into play when you go through this loop. So now we only need a way to sacrifice our creatures and gain mana to perform this egg loop. And we have the perfect card to solve all of our problems. Phyrexian Altar, a free mana cost artifact. Sacrifice a creature, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So you sacrifice the Scarecrow, you sacrifice this creature vehicle, that is important. Then you sacrifice your commander. The commander goes back to the command zone and you return the vehicle and the Scarecrow and some other creatures. And then you sacrifice the command beacon, and then you regain Gerard back to your hand. You cast him for the mana that you gained from Phyrexian Altar, and then you repeat. So in the end, a total count of five cards, but we're actually not done yet. We actually need more. We need two more random whatever creatures that you can sacrifice to your Phyrexian Altar. You're sacrificing the vehicle, you're sacrificing the Scarecrow, you're sacrificing Gerard. That's three mana, so you need two more creatures to gain five mana. Gerard costs four, so to go infinite mana, you need one more. But we're still not done. We need a way to actually win the game with infinite mana. So a grand total of five cards, two more random creatures, and then one way to actually win the game with, with infinite mana. So we're looking at eight cards, and if you want to add in the commander, that's nine cards. I mean, no. All right, so we have ruled out the idea of actually making a combo deck out of him. Oh, I hope I've ruled out all possible ideas of making a combo deck out of this guy. Let's make a value deck. Let's make a grindy hate bear deck. And let's look at this boss as a way to protect yourself against board wipes. I don't think that is good. He doesn't give you any form of card draw. He's only helping you with that very narrow idea that your opponents could board wipe. So, 
in the end, if you want to build a hate bear deck and you want to have a Boros hate bear deck, I think there are better commanders out there for it. So we're not going to build a combo deck out of him. We're not going to build a janky hate bear deck around him. Let's put him inside the 99. For example, Captain Cisse could utilize the guy. I mean, he actually works for her, right? So sometimes that very narrow situation happens. The board wipe toxic deluge. Now what are we going to do? We're going to activate Cisse to save the day. When we find Gerard, our boy, and he comes into action and he asks Cisse, what am I here for? And she answers, you're here to die. And he goes, ah, oh, again. So Gerard dies together with everything else. And then Gerard goes to exile, gone for good. And all your stuff is back into action to fight again. Oh, Gerard, you poor guy. Let's actually look at the original Cissé, the Captain Cissé's flavor text. This is actually the first time I've ever read a flavor text on this channel. Her leadership forged the Red Light's finest crew. And I don't think that Gerard is actually good inside the 99 of Cissé Red Light Captain at all. The simple reason why Gerard isn't part of Cissé's finest crew is actually rather simple. She's able to fetch the guy when she has a power of 5 or greater. And when she's at that power level, she usually is very close to win the game. So instead of just passing turn, you can usually attempt to win the game instead. And the other reason is that if it actually happens that you're not able to win the game and you have to pass turn and she has a power of 5 or greater, we usually have better things to fetch for instead of this very narrow card. And the way that I build my Cissé decks is that I usually include a lot of legendary cards that aren't creatures. For example, legendary enchantments, planeswalkers, artifacts and some lands. So for example, I have this Oath of Liliana that I can fetch an instant speed to force each opponent to sacrifice a creature. Or I find this planeswalker, Teferi, that has a hate bear ish stacks effect. So instead of including a card that's going to protect me from board wipes for my creatures, I'd rather build my deck a little bit more versatile so that I'm not that affected by a board wipe instead. So where is this guy actually going to see play? He's not going to see play in any CDH, that's for sure. I hope I've made that point clear. This card is actually really outside his channel's focus, but this is a review and an explanation of why he isn't good. He's going to see playing casual, but I don't think he's going to see that much playing casual because I don't think that many casual players are going to view and find this card fun to play as your commander. I could definitely be wrong on that one. I don't know what casual players are going to be picking up from the upcoming new commander set, but from the other cards that I've seen, some of them actually looks really fun for casual players. But Gerard Red Light Hero is actually gonna see play in a very specific upcoming casual deck I believe and predict Wizard of the Coast are gonna be making sure happens. And there's a reason why I actually let Cissé with a Light Captain hang in front of the camera for a while. So here we have a few members of the original Red Light ship's crew. Oh yeah, by the way, we are pretty much done with the competitive EDH part of this video. Gerard is bad, let's move on. We are looking into some EDH lore currently. And yeah, by the way as well, I didn't have enough energy to find the entire Red Light Ship's original crew. I, I satisfied with these three, because these three will make a good example. For example, if you wanted to play a team deck, a Red Light team deck, and you wanted to play the of course obvious commander back in the days, Captain C's, a the boss of the Red Light, you weren't allowed to play the entire ship's crew because some of them didn't have the correct color identity. You could play the original Gerard because he was mono white, but you couldn't play Squee, Goblin, Nabob. There's a Golgari black and green creature, there's a miniature red creature, and there's some other things as well. But what I believe that the Wizard of the Coast are doing is that they are making it possible for us to build a complete, casual, themed, red light shipped crew. I mean, look here. They have reprinted, or re, not reprinted, they have made a new reversion of Squee. And now they are making a new and reversion of the Garad. And I actually believe that they are gonna go all the way and make a reversion of the entire original Red Light crew. 
I'm really excited about that. That is actually, I, a, a cache deck I might assemble. I might have to say that it's probably going to be a cache deck I'm going to assemble and never play. I mean, it's just going to sit in my shelf and I'm just going to be looking at it and say, that cache deck looks cool. Even though I'm a spike EDH player, there are a few things that is bringing back the kid in me again. And yes, I actually am a fan of the Vedalite saga and lore. And yes, Cisse is actually my favorite character inside the entire MTG universe. And I'm really happy that she's actually CDH viable and I get to play competitively with my favorite character. So, as a final review for Gerard Vedalite Hero, he is terrible and I love him. I'm gonna collect him and I'm gonna frame him on the wall because when I was a kid, this guy was actually one of my heroes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, consider sharing my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link down below will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.